So over in uh, St. Clair, Missouri, St. Louis side of the state, a teacher is on leave. Brianna Coppage, 28 years old, has been put on leave from St. Clair High School after administrators received a report that an employee may have posted inappropriate media on one or more Internet sites. What was she doing? She had an OnlyFans page. If only she was dressing up as a drag queen in front of her kids, you know, it would have been much better off for her. Her career would have skyrocketed, by the way. She would have been principal by the end of the year. But the OnlyFans? No, 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 no. No. By the way, I understand why. Do you know what OnlyFans is? In case you don't know what OnlyFans is, let me explain. OnlyFans is a site where anybody can create an account. And it's mostly women creating accounts where then they will uh, post pictures and videos that you then pay a monthly subscription for. In some cases, they will act like your girlfriend. They will even exchange messages with you potentially, depending on how much you pay per month. But unfortunately, since we're in this, I mean, just weird environment socially where people are lonely, uh, people are looking for relationships, they're looking in all these different places, including sites like OnlyFans, which really took off during the pandemic, by the way. That's when OnlyFans became a thing. People were flush with cash. A lot of people obviously had lost their jobs. Um, They were looking for a way to make money. People were looking for connections with other individuals. And they created their OnlyFans pages. Thankfully, John Anthony's didn't take off, so he's still here working with us at KCMO Talk Radio. (laughs) Yep, I tried. (laughs) Okay, anyway, I had to get that one in at some point. (laughs) So, so Brianna Coppage, uh, this 28-year-old English teacher, used the alias Brooklyn Love for her uh, racy content. She was suspended last week, and the story has now been picked up by Daily Mail, New York Post, everybody else. And she was charging, is charging $10 a month. And she said she started it. She's a mom of two, and she started this OnlyFans to supplement her $42,000 a year teaching job in the summer. Well, now, guess how much money she's making? She's making ten grand a month from her OnlyFans. So do the math, 120 grand a year, triple her teaching salary. Now, morally, I certainly wouldn't want my significant other, uh, who, by the way, is a wife and mom of two, posting this kind of stuff on an OnlyFans page as a mother and a teacher and a wife and everything else. I, but it's not illegal. You may have a moral disagreement with it, But nothing she is doing is illegal. But, of course, the school district is now like, what do we do? Well, there's two there's two storylines that are coming out of this story. One is, ah, this is why teachers got to make more money. Well, first off, I agree teachers need to make more money. I do agree on that. But it's not because we're not spending enough money on education. It's because we're spending way too much money on nonsense in public education like administrators, right, which are way overpaid, and there's way too many of them. And it's a system that rewards the best and the brightest to get out of the classroom because the money is made by the administration. It's not made by the teachers in the classroom. The teachers in the classroom should be getting paid far more than they are, but the system doesn't reward you for staying in the classroom for the most part. So the system is completely broken. I agree with that. But it also says something about where we're at societally when a mother in St. Clair, Missouri, can basically post uh, half nude photos and make 10 grand a month off of that. I mean, I'm all about capitalism. I'm all about, you know, making the money that you can, however you can, if it's legal. And in this case, nothing she's doing is illegal. So I'm not going to sit here and say, well, yeah, oh, boy. No, she's not breaking the law. I can morally disagree with it while also saying she has a right to do it. But don't make it about, well, the teachers are underpaid. Yes, they're underpaid. And unless you're going to admit why they're underpaid, then let's not have the conversation. 
Let, let's let's not bother having the conversation. But it says something else because something tells me if she was making sixty grand a year instead of forty two, yet had this chance to make one hundred and twenty on OnlyFans, she'd still pick OnlyFans. And that's what she basically admitted in this article to the St. Louis Post Dispatch, saying, "I knew this day would come." She goes, "I knew eventually I was going to get caught." And I'm sad about that, and I do miss my students. But what she also said here, and this is interesting, she goes on to point out that she basically was just there to teach the curriculum. She wasn't going off, you know, track. She says, I taught the curriculum. I taught students reading and writing, and I didn't guide them on my thoughts or beliefs. Well, geez. If only she was a male teacher dressing in drag and promoting, you know, drag events. Uh, she probably would have been okay. But, you know, setting up an OnlyFans privately and not talking about it in the classroom or even pushing her beliefs in the kids, uh, we can't have that. So, <laughs> yes, there's a double standard, it seems like, when it comes to, you know, what we view as acceptable from teachers in today's world in 2023. I prefer my teachers for my kids not be drag queens and also not be, you know, stripping on OnlyFans. But apparently, maybe being against both is too much to ask for. Now, which one of her colleagues or bosses were the ones that caught her? Well, <laughs> and, it, and we're on the OnlyFans. Well, but. that's a good point. Apparently, what happened here is that her husband appeared in one of her videos. In what context, I don't know, and I don't want to know. But her husband apparently showed up in one of the videos, and that is what tipped everybody off to this teacher in St. Clair, Missouri, being on OnlyFans making ten grand a month. Brianna Coppage. 913-408-7710. Do I dare welcome you into the conversation? Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Welcome to America. Like it or not, 28-year-old mother of two married teacher in St. Clair, Missouri, decides I'm going on OnlyFans and I'm going to make ten grand a month versus making $42,000 as a teacher. And now she's been placed on leave. And she admitted, by the way, to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, she's probably never teaching again. So she's admitting that her teaching career is probably over. Now, you know, when you're tripling your salary, uh, some people are going to say, well, she's probably not going to lose a lot of sleep over this. But what do we make of the fact that we live in a world where, like it or not, I mean, sex is going to sell. I hate saying that. I don't think it's good morally for us, but it is true. And now here she is making 10 G's a month on her OnlyFans page. She gets caught somehow in St. Clair, Missouri. The school finds out it was only a matter of time. She admitted as much. And now she's on leave and she's probably never teaching again. She said that, you know, she misses her students. She never pushed her personal beliefs on the kids and never did anything on school grounds or anything like that. But either way, like I get why the school can't have it. That being said, I would say there's a lot of examples of not St. Clair school district, but school districts around the country being more than acceptable of promoting and pushing sexuality on children. That is wholly unacceptable. But, you know, what happened here is this mother of two and this teacher is not pushing things that uh, a lot of wokesters wouldn't necessarily agree with. 736 on a Monday. Jonathan's in Kansas City. 913-408-7710. What's up, Jonathan? Good morning. How you doing? Doing well, my friend. What's on your mind? Okay, so I was commenting on this. Like, Kansas City Star put it up on Facebook and people were commenting back and forth. And, of course, you had people probably from the left who argued, well, the school district has no business governing someone's personal life. And I responded, and I said, listen, whether you like it or not, whether it's fair or not, certain professions in our society, we hold them to higher standards. And you can argue that's not fair, but that's the way it is. If you're a small-town police officer and you're not making much money, which you probably aren't if you're a small-town police officer, not only would OnlyFans probably get you fired for something similar like this, but they check your credit when you're law enforcement. And you could say, well, it's, it's nobody's business what I do with my own finances. But you can argue that's not fair. The fact of the matter is 
they will look at that and say, well, that says something bigger about you, and we expect more out of people in that profession. And if you don't like that, well, I mean, you know, there's certain qualifications, and I guess you're not qualified for that profession. Maybe find another one. You, know, and you can argue that's not true, but that's the way it is. No, no listen, Jonathan, you're right. You're absolutely right, which is why we got to take care of our teachers and make sure that the job is appealing to people and is making them more money than 42 grand a year. But remember, the problem is not how much we fund our public schools. It's what we spend that money on. That's the problem. I mean, it's funny. Anytime you pull people in and you ask them, hey, should we spend more money on education? The answer is always yes. But then when you ask them or you tell them how much money is actually spent on education, the number drops Dramatically, our friends at the Show Me Institute, the Missouri based think tank that we talk to a lot, uh, they did a poll on this and it showed that over 50 percent of Missourians say that we should spend more money on education. But then when those same people in that same poll are told, hey, here's how much money we spend currently on education. And it's like 12 to 13 grand per student across the entire state. That number drops down to 30 percent of people who say we should spend more on education. So it's like anything else in life, right? Should we spend more on fill in the blank? Yeah, yeah, spend more. Oh, wow, wait, we already spend that much? I didn't realize that, John. Yeah, interestingly enough, more money for schools does not necessarily mean more money for education. Yes, education right? in that the is classroom. That 12000 per student factor in uh, administrative salaries, yes. right? In other words, yes. here's the big lump, and yes. we got X amount of students, divide it. Mm-hmm. That's how I it's done. You. Yeah. So we're not really spending twelve grand per kid per se no. on education, on them Correct. learning the basics. I mean, it's on a lot of other nonsense, mm-hmm. right, that gets lumped into Seemingly. education. As you yep. put up your air, as I put up my air quotes, you know, that's all lumped under the education umbrella. So you're right. I mean, you want to have teachers and just like you want to have cops who are going to be role models in their neighborhoods and in society in general. And you can't have just like you can't have female cops, you know, setting up OnlyFans pages because that could be another disaster waiting to happen for different reasons. You really don't want your teachers on OnlyFans either. Right. You don't. And this is I didn't see the Kansas City Star putting this up on its Facebook page. But Jonathan brought up the fact that a lot of people are pointing out, well, you can't tell somebody what to do in their personal life. I I get it. But the school also doesn't have to accept the fact that somebody is selling sex on the side while also being in charge of teaching kids high school English. Even if you're able to separate those things, what happens then, right? What happens if you end up in a situation where you've got somehow, I think you got to be 18, I imagine, to sign up for one of these OnlyFans accounts. But what if there are high school kids who are 18, right? You got high school kids looking at the sophomore English teacher doing God knows what on their OnlyFans page. I like you can't have that. You can't. You can't have seniors on their phones setting up OnlyFans pages, then subscribing to the person who's teaching sophomores in the same school English. (laughs) That doesn't work. That's a disaster waiting to happen for a multitude of reasons. 913-408-7710. That's also the uh, text line on KCMO Talk Radio. Pete, I wish we just had higher standards for the folks who end up running for office as well. I. Uh, you know, no disagreement there. Not exactly apples to apples, but uh, no disagreement there. But it's like the lady, oh gosh, outside of Richmond, Virginia, we told you about two weeks ago, where she was caught doing something similar, soliciting tips by doing things with her husband that were highly inappropriate. Well, she's claiming, oh, it's my right to do it. Yeah, it is. But are those the kind of people that we ultimately want representing us in Congress? Do we want those people representing us in the classroom, teaching our kids? I mean, those are all legitimate questions. 913-408-7710. Rick's in Kansas City. Go ahead, Rick. What's up? Hey, I heard you talking about uh, education and the, and the salary that, that teachers make being so low. You know, it's almost like police officers. 
Um, but we pay people the least for the, the most value that we think, you know, security and education. But I was in education. I have a master's degree, um, worked in the field for 12 years. And I had a principal tell me one time that if they paid teachers more, they would be in it for the wrong reason. Oh, my gosh. What a, meantime, the principal's clearing six figures easily, right? I mean, that's yeah. a joke. What? A, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Don't even get me started on that guy. Mark's going to have to hit the dump button. I mean, that's, that's, that's what a ridiculously stupid comment from that principal. Yeah, but, but I wasn't uh, witty enough back then to say, well, does that apply to principals? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you've gotten woodier over time there. Very well done there, Rick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what if, you get paid, yeah, if you're going for the money, you know, don't go into teachings because, you know, you might just go for the money <laughs> and not really care, not really care about education. You know, does that care of, you know, surgeons and anybody else, you know, radio yeah. talk show hosts and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, Rick, it's really too bad. I mean, all the money is in the administration. It, and th- that's the problem with the system. The system benefits those who try to climb the ladder to be, you know, the seventh assistant principal versus actually teaching kids in the classroom, which is where we should want more of the money. And we want to encourage the best to stay. Uh, once again, the system's broken. That's my takeaway from the story at a St. Clair, where this lady's clearing ten grand a month with an OnlyFans account on the side of her $42,000 a year teaching gig. And it looks like, as she's admitted, she's going to lose her job.